What's up guys, back again with another short video on Dolly Mini. This time this guide will be how to run this model on Windows 10 and 11. In order to avoid frustration, let's first take a look at the requirements. So the first requirement is to have the latest version of Windows 10 or 11. If you don't have the latest version, you could run to some issues. Uh, and if you need to use or want to use GPUs for faster processing, Windows 11 will be needed. Uh, two, if you want to use GPUs, it's best to have the latest NVIDIA drivers installed. And then three, you need to have enough RAM. Uh, 32 megabytes should be enough for Mega, maybe. It almost definitely will be for Mini. And if you have more than that, this should not be a concern for you. With the requirements out of the way, let's get started. So first, we need to install Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL. To do this, we need to open up PowerShell, or Terminal is what I use, but it's just a way to run PowerShell. And we need to run that as an administrator. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna run Terminal, and I'm going to run it as administrator. Okay. And I've already done this, so I'm not actually gonna, I'm not actually going to run the command, but we'll type WSL install. And you're going to go ahead and enter that, and then after running this command, WSL should be installed, and you should be ready for the next step. For this to work, we need to have WSL2 installed rather than WSL1. If you're just installing it now, you should be installing WSL2 by default. But let's go ahead and prevent any issues by checking which version we have installed. To do this, we can look at the docs and see that to list the version we have, we can use WSL-L-V. We'll go ahead and copy that, and we'll go ahead and paste it here, and we see that we are using version two for everything, and so we should be good to go. If we ended up not using WSL2, we can go ahead and change that by, again, looking at the docs and copying the command like this here, WSL set version distro name two, or since Ubuntu is the default distro, you could just copy this here. WSL set version Ubuntu 20.04.2, and that will change your distribution to using WSL2. The next step is to install Docker Desktop on Windows. You can find the link I'm using by Googling install Docker Desktop, and we'll use the first link. Go ahead and click this and download it. And you're gonna, you're gonna wanna keep it and then just wait for it to finish. After downloading Docker Desktop, go ahead and install it with the default installation methods, as well as making sure that WSL backend is checked. After that is done, I will now go over how to ensure that the WSL backend is being used. We are now going to check to make sure that the WSL backend is being used. So go ahead and search for Docker Desktop. Open that up, and here we have Docker Desktop. So if we go over to Settings, and we see under General, we should see that use the WSL2 base engine. That should be checked, and if it's checked, we're ready for the next step. So now go back to the Dolly Mini GitHub page and go ahead and open up a terminal or a PowerShell window. So I'll go ahead and open up the terminal. and go ahead and type in bash and then hit CD because we want to be in the home folder. And then go ahead and clone the Dolly repo. Git should already be installed, so we should be good there. And so let's go ahead and do that. Let's use HTTPS to avoid some issues that some people were reporting. Let's copy that and then let's do git clone and then paste this. And now let's enter the repo. So at this point, the tutorial is pretty much the same. We have access to Docker. And we also, if we're on Windows 11, can pass GPUs into the container. But I'll go ahead and go over that again in this video. So like in the original video, we first need to build the Docker image. So let's go to Docker and then run build image. 
And so this is going to uh, build the Docker image and uh, I'll come back once this is done. So it actually finished almost instantly. And the reason for that is because I have already built the image and have it in the cache. Uh, but let's go ahead and go on to the next step. So the next step, also like the previous video, is to run the image. So let's go to cd dot dot. And if we cat the run Docker image, we can see what this script does. So we are exposing port 8888. We're going to run it interactively. And we're going to pass all the GPUs in. We're going to keep this flag the same in this video and actually change it if needed inside the container. Uh, we're going to mount the repo, the current directory here, to workspace, and we're going to use the image we just built. So let's go ahead and run this now. And now we are inside of the container. So now inside the container, let's take a quick look at what GPUs I have passed. So NVIDIA SMI, we can see that I have my 3090, another 3090, and a 3060. So I only want to run the model on my first two GPUs. Uh, and so how we can do this is what we can set a variable called CUDA visible devices. To do this, I do export and then CUDA visible devices. And I set this equal to, since it's GPU zero and one, I do zero comma one. And now once I run the notebook, which we'll go over in the next step, I will only have GPUs zero and one and will not be running it on the second GPU. Some people have reported success on running either the mini or mega model on GPUs with as little as eight gigabytes of RAM, such as I saw someone in the Discord run with a 2070. However, I have not personally tested that, so you may or may not want to do this step depending upon what GPU you have. So now let's actually run the notebook. To do this is the same as the previous video. We do CD tools inference, and then we do run infer notebook. And then while holding control, you click this link here, and it will open up the inference notebook and then we can enter it as such so now that we're in the notebook we can go ahead and start running things in the notebook so here we're installing things needed for the software to run properly here what we just ran here is this will select the mega model if we want to instead run the main model due to issues or just because we can uncomment this line of code here. Here we get the device count. So we should see two here for my both of my 3090s. And here we are going to actually load the model. And I'm going to come back, get my API key, and uh, then paste it here and continue with the notebook. To get the model, as I said in the previous video, you need a weight and biases account. And you can go ahead and follow this link here and copy the value and enter it and then continue on. So my API key is now on my clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that and hit enter. And now it's going to need to download roughly five gigabytes of files. So I'll come back when that's done. So as we can see, the model is now loaded. So the next step is we're going to replicate the model onto multiple GPUs if available. And we'll do this here now. You may get an out of air memory, but that is nothing that is uh, breaking. Uh, it should still work as you will soon see. So that could also take a while, but you'll know it's finished once this number is filled up. So let's continue running the code blocks. So the next one will define how we encode and decode the image. And then here we are creating a random seed in order to get a unique image per device. And here we are defining the tokenizer for the text prompts we give it. And that will have to download something real small, but should be pretty quick. It's done. Here we define the prompts. Let's keep the same ones as the default. And now we are processing the prompts. And now we are putting the prompts on both GPU devices. 
And now here we define how many predictions we want. Let's keep it at eight again. And then here we are going to actually generate the images. So let's go ahead and run that now and I'll come back when it's done. So here we can see the generated outputs. They are about what you'd expect as we've seen from the previous video. And yeah, so following this tutorial, you should now be able to run Dolly Mini and Mega on your Windows PC. So that's where I'm going to end this video. I plan on making at least one more video about Dolly with regards to tips and tricks on how to best run it. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video when it comes out. If you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I do topics like this a lot on this channel, so if you enjoyed this topic, I'm sure you'll enjoy many of the other videos I'll be creating. I also have a Discord where we discuss topics like this, as well as help each other out with the new technology as it comes out. Thanks so much for watching, and please have a great day.